Yellowstone supervolcano eruption. 100 earthquakes are rocking the volcano. Does that mean that this is a, a sign it's about to erupt, to blow? Sean Martin Express UK reports. Today's article, everyone is wondering what these effects in Southern California from the major earthquakes will be having on Yellowstone. We know that the geologists have now recently come out saying that they are monitoring eight high threat volcanoes in California because they believe that it could be an uptick, there could be an uptick in volcanic activity from the underlying magmas. And uh, now this is a question concerning what could be happening to Yellowstone supervolcano. Almost 100 earthquakes struck Yellowstone area in this past month. And of course that means that uh, this uptick could mean volcanic activity increase and volcanic eruption. Yellowstone, as we know, is one of the uh, world's biggest supervolcanoes and the massive wave of quakes near the caldera, uh, of course, are not calming anybody's uh, nerves. 97 tremors rocked the park over the past month, leading to fears of it possibly having an eruption. The tremors have been relatively small, but some seismologists feel that the quantity of earthquakes is more relevant than the size of the earthquakes when it comes to precursors of a volcanic eruption. Now we saw various signs of very frequent earthquake swarms in the South California area for months. We've been reporting this on months, earthquake swarms here, there and everywhere in Southern California. And then after the uh, 6.2 Cascadia Vancouver Island earthquake, the day for 30, exactly 13 hours later, on July 4th, we had the 6.4 magnitude, and the day after that, 7.1 um, in Ridgecrest, in uh, the area of the Coso Volcanic Field. So the Portland State University geology professor Emeritus Scott Burns said concerning the spat of small uh, the small earthquakes around the supervolcano of Yellowstone usually means that magma and gases underneath the surface are trying to navigate out. They're trying to come up, find an exit to release themselves. He said if you get swarms under a working volcano, the working hypothesis is that magma is moving up underneath there. But there are others who disagree whether the earthquake swarm near the volcano could be a sign of things to come. There are those that uh, believe that it's just normal activity. So Jamie Farrell at the University of Utah, Salt Lake City, believes it's just part of the natural process of what Yellowstone supervolcano goes through. She says earthquake swarms are fairly common in Yellowstone. There's no indication that this swarm is related to magma moving through the shallow crust, end quote. And so if this supervolcano, which is situated at the northeast corner of Wyoming, next to Montana and Idaho, if this were to erupt, uh, in this case, uh, considering a super eruption, that means an immediate uh, 87,000 people in the vicinity would lose their lives, and two-thirds of the United States would immediately be made uninhabitable, according to an eruption simulation uh, from uh, someone called Underworld. Underworld. Now, the large spew of ash, of course, into our atmosphere would block up the sunlight, directly affecting life beneath, creating what was known as a, a volcanic or a nuclear winter. And the massive eruption could be a staggering 6,000 times as powerful as what we saw from the volcanic eruption of Mount St. Helens that took place in 1980 and deposited ash in 11 different states and five Canadian provinces. Now, if the volcano explodes, of course, climate shift would take place as a volcano would spew massive amounts of sulfur dioxide, which block out the sun's rays, and which can form a sulfur aerosol, reflecting and absorbing sunlight. So, uh, yeah, 
We don't know. At this point, it's just a little bit early to tell. There are some geologists who believe that these earthquakes may have, the swarm may of Yellowstone may have um, an indication of things to come. There are others that call, um, that uh, believe that this is just a normal cycle of what happens in Yellowstone. So we'll wait and see. There is an uptick now in various earthquakes running along the faults north of the Southern California area, and things are still developing. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.